So next, I'll just briefly run through, I guess, what I like to take note when I take pictures and what kind of rules I observe when I conceptualize my shoots. One of the first things I like to keep notice when I take my pictures. My personal favorite times are actually sunset, sunset and sunrise because these are the times when the lighting is really soft and it makes for very pleasant colors. Um, I like the idea of serenity in my images. I like the idea of taking an image and it can feel really calm. And I feel like that's best captured when you take the images during the periods when the sun isn't harsh, right? When it's giving this beautiful soft lighting, like this first picture, I think this was around 7 or 7.30 a.m. And as you can see, the orange and the blues are really soft and it's just really calming to me. So another example would be here. This was in um, Barcelona. I think this was also around sunset, so around 5.30 p.m. And the sun is really golden. And that's one of my favorite, I guess, color temperatures I've taken, right? Having it really warm, having it really comfortable, and having it overall accentuate the image, uh, giving it that very relaxed uh, vibe. And shooting in soft lighting, you know, when lighting isn't harsh in these periods, it's also really good for your portraits and people because it complements the overall person. Because the lighting is soft, there's not that much contrast between the lighter and the darker parts of an image. Uh, some of the picture I edited in the photo series. Uh, this was also taken in right after sunrise. So the lighting was very soft and it made for an overall uh, nice image because the tones were really warm and really brought out you know, the skin tones of the person and also made for very pleasing colors. So another example of shooting in sunrise, in this case, the greens are desaturated and I like it because it gives me a very pleasing sensation. And because of that lack of contrast, the overall image just looks really comfortable. So another example, this was I think for sunset. So again, we're seeing all these colors that are very warm. And I just overall appreciate this type of serenity that soft lighting and in particular sunsets and sunrises give to images, especially portraits. You know, I love taking portraits um, in concerts. I love it when the colors are very rich because it's really fun to edit and it's really fun to play around with what you're given. So in this case, um, it's really fun to just see, you know, all these contrasting colors and they make for uh, really creative shoots and also adds lots of silhouettes to an image. I like seeing silhouettes. I like seeing all these shadows. It's, it adds a bit more drama and just more examples, I guess. Uh, this is also just playing around with artificial lighting in general. You know, taking portraits with silhouettes of the images, how light overall, it's, it's like a very artificial and at the same time, like a theat the, the theatrical element to it. And right? it makes for very conceptual types of shoots and very fun at that. So that's my personal favorites when I'm taking pictures in general. And I guess some rules like the observe when I take pictures. So I think the first one is that um, leading lines, right? When you're taking an image or when I please take an image, I like to take note of elements in the image that try to direct your eyes to a single subject. So in this case, my point of reference would be look at the street and look at the buildings. Um, when you look at you know these elements in the picture, they mostly lead your eyes towards the main subject, which is the bridge. And that has been a habit of mine when I'm taking pictures. I like to always pay attention to streets and leading lines, right? You know, when you look at the street, it directs your eyes to the center. And it overall just gives a bit more emphasis to what you're trying to capture. So another example, same mode, same mode, you know, having it centered and having these streets direct your eyes to the main, I'd say the main subject of the focal point of an image. So in this case, it would be these colorful buildings uh, in the center as well as it's a spire that's uh, sticking out in the top left. And another example, so more leading lines here. And I just appreciate this type of symmetry as well in you know, these street photographies. I appreciate the sym symmetry in street images. In this case, just having the balance of the, right, the buildings on the right side and the buildings on the left side, as well as the cars. This overall makes for a very, I'd say, aesthetically pleasing image. That's my preference. I'm also going for stuff that to me it looks good. And another thing I like to pay attention to is rule of thirds. I mostly see rule of thirds in landscapes I take because I mentally like to subdivide what I take. So it might not make sense at first, but then an example here is when I took the picture, I mentally deconstructed it and viewed it as three separate elements. So we have the bottom, which is the buildings. We have the middle, which is the sun peeking out and the top, which is the clouds. So by mentally deconstruct, it allows me to have a bit more organization when I take pictures and also overall just makes for a, I'd say, cleaner image. So another example would be here. Um, it's a bit more subtle, but then for taking the ele elements apart, similar to the other image, the top element would be the sky. The middle would be the mountains. 
and the bottom would be, I guess, the trees and that layer of fog. So it makes for a very coordinated image because you're splitting up the, the you're splitting up this, I guess, you're splitting up the scenery. And I also like taking these types of pictures because I like taking pictures that would make good wallpapers for my phone. I try to imagine where would the time go in my phone. So in this case, it's always going to top. So I'd like to keep the top a bit empty to accommodate the time. If I do set it as my lock screen wallpaper. So another example here. Uh, clearly dividing the image into the sky, the buildings, and the street with the car. And yeah, I guess another thing to take note here is also appreciate symmetry a lot. So as I mentioned earlier, also in this case, you know, I appreciate how the buildings seem balanced from right to left. And it's actually taken on this street. And this is um, an intersection and it was directly in front of the intersection. So I guess here, just another example that actually integrates soft lighting. So taking pictures in sunrise plus lighting it with the elements. So, you know, clearly here, I think this would make a good wallpaper photo for my phone. Just in general, I also like taking pictures that aren't too hectic, right? I like taking pictures that there's not too much going on so that it doesn't confuse your eyes as much. So here, it's it's a very simple narrative being told. It's just this sea at the morning with a few boats in the water. So it's very simple. So another thing I like to pay attention to when I take pictures is also, you know, understanding background and foreground. Besides just the subject you're taking, I think it's also important to note what's in front and what's at the back of the subject. So in this case, the clear subject would be those windmills. And if I wanted to picture the windmills, I clearly could have, even outside of this frame. But then, you know, I'm observed how there was a clear foreground that could be used. So in this case, this doorway. And it overall just tells a better story, in my opinion. If you're taking advantage of what's already around you, it can add a lot more layers towards an otherwise dull image. So if I did not choose to shoot it through this doorway, right, it would have been really different. And I think by shooting it through the doorway, it adds a little bit more detail to the image and just gives it a bit more depth. This is another example. So shooting a bridge and my foreground was, you know, this car's frame. So I wanted to put my viewers in a perspective that, oh, they were, they could possibly also be with me in the car, looking at this bridge and capturing this beautiful purple sunset. You have to understand the elements that are in play and also taking advantage of what's what's directly in front of you, possibly, so you can create a better narrative. And I feel like when you take pictures, it's all about just telling the best story you can and trying to construct the best narrative you can. So just another example, this was shot through a bus. So you can vaguely see the frame of the bus outlined in the bottom left, in the top left. And you know, just I'd say it adds to the idea that you actually see the text bus stop in the bottom. So just adding that overall idea that, okay, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're in a bus call, so maybe you're sightseeing. And it just really adds to the narrative. Those are all the rules I guess I'd like to take with me when I take pictures. So always pay attention to soft lighting. Always remember rule of thirds. Finally, background and foreground. 